Hello guys and welcome back into another episode in Terraria. I hope you've been well. We're starting in the same place we left it previous time. So nothing really has changed. The same zombies were knocking the doors. A few more eyes, demon eyes have hit, so let's quickly get rid of them and then continue and finish building the um the rooms upstairs for hopefully a few more NPCs to come and become part of my community and maybe some helpful ones will appear if you guys know of any decent NPCs that I should consider moving in just uh, leave me a comment and let me know what exactly I need to do and what sort of uh, benefits will I get from having those particular ones moving in because I know there's loads of different NPCs with different abilities and different skills so I'm kind of not 100% aware of what all of them are as I said in the previous episode the uh, merchant that moved downstairs is my second ever MP NPC and I never had two previously so it's it's an all new experience for me which is which is gonna be hopefully quite exciting but I guess um, you guys will know a bit better than I do what other cool NPCs there might be ah I knew that's not gonna end well You know, you always hope for the best. I definitely need to get rid of that um, cross on top of my roof, as otherwise it currently looks like a um, like a church or something. Oh, there's another fallen star. We shall definitely collect all of these um, fallen stars. Are great for for mana. I believe you need five fallen stars and then uh, by combining and eating them you get a additional blue star in the top right corner which is I believe each star represents 20, 20 mana points which are then used in uh, various magical things you might be able to do not sure I really described it well, but I'm not 100% sure of all the uh, features you can use mana for yet, if I'm very honest. So again guys, if you know it, please share it, as I will appreciate your tips. As the only use I know of so far is... There is a, a weapon of some sort, which um, which you basically um, say magical um, magical uh, weapon. I can't remember what exactly was it, but. It was sort of shooting, um, um, I can't remember if it was shooting just some magic, uh, magic out of it, or there was some fires maybe? Not 100% sure, as I haven't had magical weapons in this game for quite a while, so again guys, if you are aware of what are the use for mana there is in this game just let me know as I will appreciate any advice at this stage oh great stuff another NPC has arrived so I'm definitely doing the right thing that I'm building up my house I think 
I will get some more NPCs moving in with me as a result, which is always quite good. So I just need to make these rooms quicker so these guys can actually move in and they don't change their mind. If there's any um, of these NPCs guys that do some uh, other stuff that I might not have uh, noticed yet, like they have secret abilities or something, please leave me a comment with those and um, make me aware as I will appreciate any help at this stage. quickly plant back which is probably the uh, best tip I can give you guys as if you're not going to be replanting them back the minute you're going to need some more materials I swear to god you're not going to find them ever or you'll need to um, explore for a while end up finding some monsters and get your ass kicked so whenever you chop some wood down don't be lazy go into your inventory and grab those uh, acorns and just plant them back so make sure you you uh, create renewable energy for yourself which is going to be a massive help I do promise you that quickly um, finish finish a room upstairs for her for our nurse actually what's her name just to declare that's great what sort of um okay so she can only heal and it's only available if I actually prob I'm injured so at the minute she told me not to waste her time. There we go, her room is nearly done. Let's quickly get her some torches as well. Get a table and a chair, and then we're done with this room. And then just need to finish furnishing the other room. There we go. I believe that's all she needs to move in. I need more. A few more doors. And then I will be done. that's done and I'll just quickly try and uh, make this room ready for an NPC to move in as well which I believe I'm not gonna finish as I'm lacking some some walls but that's not probably my I'm pretty sure I have enough rocks or stone, whatever I was actually using there. 
stone walls yet, so I'll create a few more of these and just uh, finish the room for her. Well, actually not for her, someone else. And I believe there's another NPC that has just arrived. So I might actually need to uh, continue making my house even bigger. Because these guys seem to be arriving more and more. What is this guy? Is this... Oh no, there's another guy had that arrived. Wow. So that's a miner, might be? The guy who basically will sell you some dynamite, some bombs, so you can actually speed your process up. Speed the process up for yourself in, uh, in getting uh, through those hard rocks and stuff down there. I believe I need to make my house even bigger again. So I'll try to build a few more rooms because NPCs keep on arriving and it would definitely be a shame if I wouldn't use the opportunity. get these guys moving in. I'm not sure Painter is the most useful NPC in this game, but let me know what you guys think. I should probably consider making a safer way of getting down because um, if I build another floor or so, it will actually be dangerous to fall down as I might die as a result, but I'm fine for now. Let's get a door in. Need to probably make another chair and table. As I wasn't ready. Ah, oh, damn it. Now I'll need a hammer to get rid of that thing. Because that looks absolutely ugly. Okay, well. Let's leave it there for now. But yeah, not really pleased. With the way it looks. straight away now otherwise I'm just gonna forget and never get rid of it need two more tables two more chairs and a hammer let's get a basic wooden wooden one and see if it does the job So it did indeed get rid of that ugly piece, a wall outside that I definitely didn't need. So that's not done. Just put another chair and a table. And that's it. So guys, the last two episodes weren't probably the most exciting to see me just uh, building up the house and getting more NPCs to move in, but that's, I guess, part of the game. Uh, let me know if uh, if you have any ideas on what other NPCs I should look for to moving in and what should I do to get them. And uh, otherwise, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, press like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.